Hey there, how are you doing? Team Nokia Power User here and we welcome you all to yet another Nokia 3 video. In this video, we will tell you how to use the system UI tuner, which is a very interesting feature of Android Nougat. So Google has provided this feature specifically keeping those uh, users in mind which are enthusiastic about trying new features or tweaks. So basically, if you uh, have booted your Nokia 3 for the very first time, you would not uh, be able to use this system UI tuner. So you need to enable or activate it. So first, when you have booted, you will see this settings uh, icon. So it, if how you will activate the system UI tuner is by press and hold this for some time. And what it will do, it will add the system UI tuner to the settings. So it says congress system UI tuner has been added to your settings. So now go to system and you will see this. <laughs> if you want to disable it, you will do the same thing. You can just go, press and hold it. And it will tell you that system UI tuner can be removed from settings and you can do that. So you can remove it. So basically I removed it. Now for activating again, you have to go to the center and press and hold the settings icon. So as you can see, I pressed and hold it, but it did not happen. So we will do it. So it needs to be done for some more time. So in the system, you could not see it. There is no system UI tuner. So how we'll do it? I'll go to the settings icon. I'll press and hold for some time. And now it has been added. So you basically have to, you know, press and hold it for some time so that it gets added. Okay, now you go to system UI tuner to see what it can do. So it says fun for some, but not for all. So it gives you extra ways to tweak and customize the Android user interface. These are experimental features which can disappear in future. But again, I have not seen them breaking my devices, Android devices, which I have used it uh, on earlier. So you can actually use them. So there are three settings. So this is called system uh, status bar. So you can tweak the status bar. So by status bar, you have this, see these icons, which appear here on top of the phone. So this is the status bar. You see Wi-Fi, you see a mobile data, then battery, etc. Now you can actually control what appears here. So you can just uh, make the Wi-Fi icon disappear. How? You can just uh, toggle it off, toggle it on and it comes back. You can see. So if I toggle off the Wi-Fi, it disappears from here. If I toggle off the cellular data, it will disappear from there. You see it disappeared from the status bar. Now we'll bring it back. Uh, you go to battery and you can see by tapping on that, you bring a menu. So always show percentage and this becomes cool. You can now see that your battery shows the percentage. So by using system UI tuner, I can actually make your battery show the percentage always in the status bar. Now let's go back and quickly check what other options are there. So do not disturb. So here you can, uh, I mean, activate the do not disturb and you, you can, uh, I mean, enable the settings like show with volume control, volume button shortcut. So you can use both. Other it allows you to enable the split screen swipe of gesture. So <laughs> it enables the gesture to enter split screen by swiping up from the overage button. We'll show you how to enter the split screen in another video. Then there is power notification control. You can actually, uh, you know, assign importance to the apps notification. So if you assign level five, it shows at the top of the notification list, full screen interruption always peak. So accordingly, the priority goes down so level one prevent full screen interruption never peak never make sound or vibrate so you can assign if you like a like or you use an app too much like a facebook app or twitter app you can assign it level five it will always show you the notification always uh, it will show the full screen interruption etc if you don't like an app like a game if you don't want to get the notifications you can assign a level one and it will not show you nearly anything 
so this is how you can do so these are the options which are currently available under the system ui tuner and we showed you how to activate the ui tuner and how to use the settings which are under it so just keep in mind these are experimental features and they can disappear but till the time they are there they don't break the device usually and you can play with them thanks for watching stay tuned to nokia power user on a youtube channel and go to nokiapowerjer.com for reading our articles and full coverage of nokia 3